little puppet made of pine, wake. The gift of life is thine. Reported in the Daily Telegraph today. By the animal feed compounders. Very important. I rather thought that everyone recognized it was important for foodstuffs to get through to animals, not apparently the people below the gangway. This is the report. We are finding that essential ingredients, fat, salt and vitamins, are not being allowed through in a number of cases. Not being allowed through. It's a very alarming situation. One Reading feed firm, which is going to be mentioned, was, was uh, told, one Reading, uh, one Reading feed firm was told that its non-union driver would have to pay £16.64 pence a year's membership subscription to the Transport and General Workers Union before he would be allowed in to collect animal feed at Southampton docks. Mr. Charles Cooper, a director of the firm, Walter Parsons and Sons, said, I think it's blackmail. Yeah. I thought this was a free country. If our chaps want to join a union, they can. We don't see why we should force a chap to join. Yeah. My point is this. No union has any right whatsoever to do that, and I believe it is an offence against the law to do it, and action should be taken to see that lorry drivers are not threatened, that they cannot get through unless they have a union card or take one out. Now, one of the problems about the present law on the nature of picketing is that it is extremely difficult to enforce, and we better recognise that. Intimidation and violence are unlawful. Intimidation and violence, I believe, are happening and are a daily occurrence. And if the present law is unenforceable, then we've got to change it so that it becomes enforceable.